Okay, so I'm up really early in the morning. I haven't gone to bed. I'm so tired. Um, but my friend Tammy, yeah, hi Tammy. She has come over to try out Ducky. She's thinking about purchasing Ducky. Um, I think it's gonna be a great fit. So we're gonna get her and try her out and we'll see how it goes. Let's go get her. What the heck is going on here? No, I don't think so. I think Alex might have done that. Oh, okay. That seems like something Alex would do. That's funny. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> it's like the Leaning Tower of Pisa out in my barn. <laughs> okay. You have to remember. <laughs> okay. Why is that sporty, Ox? Because so take her left rein, pull her to a, a partial flex. Okay. Now use that. Hold on to that part of the rein. Hold on to your horn and get up onto your saddle. short she's short you should she's be not, good yeah but she's not really that short good girl dude i can't do that are you kidding me that's too funny okay flex her before you run off so it's gonna it's not pull it's bump bump make sure you bump bump so that she turns on her own it's not you pulling her it's her okay bump bump instead of pull bump bump again she needs to touch your boot do it again there do you see what I mean? And she's going to be one that's going to like test you. She's going to be like, hmm, what can I get away with? And so you, you can't let her get away with anything. You know what I mean? So we, especially if you show her, no, I'm going to hold your feet to the fire in something as simple as flexing. She'll be like, oh crap, this lady knows what she's doing. You know what I mean? And then she'll, yeah. So, okay. So, um, if you want to just start circling her in a small circle and as you circle her, put your inside leg on and press. And when she yields her hindquarters, just walk out and then change direction, okay? So this is how you introduce her spur or your sport spur to her. I know, I know. But just walk her and remember she's not neck reined. You can work on that, but you know, she's not solidly neck reined. So, um, so as you're circling, get a tighter circle, tighter circle, tighter circle. Keep your inside leg on and push. And she's gonna step over. Okay, now let her out and switch directions. And that's how you introduce your spur. Ta-da, we're done. Do you see what I'm saying? And then you go off on your ride. <laughs> I love a horse that'll stop when you're- When you tell her to? Like, yeah. I love that. Yeah. No, I don't like she thinks the answer to everything is flexing. Oh. Yeah, she does. So I'm going to climb up on this fence over here so I'm out of your way. Because she, she thinks if I'm in the center, she comes to me. But do you see how light she is in her bit? Yeah, I don't. That's the thing about, um, I'm such a loose rein rider. When yeah. I know. Swing by me. Your phone's about to fall out of your pocket. Just hand it to me as you pass. Thanks. I just don't want you to lose it. <laughs> you just like, you just kind of start riding her like she's already trotting and then kind of cluck at her and she'll go. Do you see how sure she's vertical? I mean, it's not horrible. You just have to know that she's vertical. Give her her head a little bit. Ride like she's already cantering. There. Okay, so that was fun. So Tammy came to see Ducky and she rode her a little bit and I rode her and answered some questions. We talked and I showed her some videos and some of the um, older videos that I have where I've taken her out on trail rides and put very inexperienced kids and stuff like that on her. And so she's decided to go ahead and sell Ducky. So. Um, now I will be able to send Nugget out to training with Rick. So that's going to be super exciting. Okay, so it's time to take little Ryder and Monet out for their first run and see what his little legs can do. 
Look at all the horses everywhere. Like he's got, look at this, Doug and Nugget are over here, Honey and Ducky. We've got all of these horses along this fence over here. And then look at all the horses over there in the stall. I'm gonna zoom in. Look at all of them. They're like, what is that over there? He full on has an audience. That's great. foot fencing because I have ooh, ooh, ooh. she is not going to let anybody meet her baby <laughs> oh cute little trot and I love how he's just staying right at her shoulder very important to get clean mama's legs up she had all sorts of icky stuff on those last night and baby's like you wash I'll nurse <laughs> Like sticky stuff. Yeah, because if we had gotten to it last night, it wouldn't have been a problem, but. Okay, so we are over at my sister-in-law's house and we're having Easter over here. And it's a tradition to have an Easter egg hunt. Um, and this year we did a money Easter egg hunt, so all the kids were stoked. So um, we're having dinner, but I want to show you my sweet family because I'm sitting back here and I'm just watching them. And my heart is so full about all of these people that I have in my life. So check this out. Oh, Beth, <laughs> you're so funny. <laughs> That's incredible. This is so much fun. I love my family. So um, my sister-in-law, Stacy, she did these flowers. But look at, look at how gorgeous these are. She did such a good job. So, um, and I mean, every detail, like the... You know, and she she had us do a little um, Easter quiz and things like that. Just so much fun. So I just I'm so grateful for my family and for everything that they mean to me. And um, I hope you guys are as lucky as I am because I feel so blessed. Well, look who's here. What are you up to? I'm responding to Asher's proposal. Asher's proposal? Yeah. All right, well then I guess we have to go and find Asher. Bye, Dad. All right. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. Welcome to Easter party. <laughs> you're so cute. Oh my gosh. This is so funny. So wait, wait, let me see what your sign says. I am up to going to prom with you. So that's your response. Yeah. So, so you're going to actually say yes to that big mug of a lug? Uh-huh. I can't believe you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she replied to his proposal. Look at it. It says. It's a little house up. Look at this. It's so cute. It says, I'm up to going prom with you. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> That's so fun. Awesome. Lauren's loving on the bark dog. <laughs> Gitter, sicker. Or he's like, um, excuse me, what about me down here? I'm down here. <laughs> and he likes his chest rubbed. Like his favorite thing is his chest. Yeah, he's just like, oh, yeah. The look on his face will be like, oh. Yeah, he's so funny. You little twerp. Man, he's got your number. If I sit here and just look at her funny, she'll pet me. <laughs> so Monet laid down. But Ryder doesn't quite approve. And he's trying to push on her to get her up. <laughs> oh, babies are so cute. They're so fun. And look, Pilot is right there going, but I want to meet a new friend. Look at this. Pilot is like three weeks old. And Ryder is newborn. And they're the same size. That's incredible to me. <laughs> So 
so my friend Tammy and I, she's the one that uh, is going to um, be buying Ducky. So we're going to go and look at a horse trailer down here in Casa Grande. And it's really pretty and it's at the top end of my price range. Um, but I want to make sure that... In half a mile, turn left onto North Casa Grande Avenue. Okay, I'm going to have to edit that out because that's annoying. <laughs> the driving directions. So anyway, so we're going to go take a look at this trailer and I like it. Okay, first impressions. It's a big trailer. Yeah. It is a big trailer, but this would be our living quarters area. It's still a three horse, which I really like. Well, Check this out. Really nice. Look at how pretty that is. I can't wait to see inside. Okay, so let's go on a tour inside. Okay, let's see what we can see. Oh, it's actually really wide. Okay, I have to back up here. Big fridge. Let's, looks like there's lots of storage. Oh, that's a TV. I thought it was a microwave. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, ooh, a closet, all right. Okay, what is this? Another closet. Man, there's a lots of closet space in here. My goodness. Okay, let's see how big this massive this fridge is. is. That's actually a really good size fridge for a, for a living quarters. And it's really cold, feel this. Feel how cold that is. Mm -hmm. That's fabulous. Yeah. Yeah, big, big, wide. Uh, that's very interesting that the counter's at the end. Normally the counter, like they put the counter on the, along the side. And then we've got this tip out that is the table. I'm guessing that that turns into a bed with some drawers underneath. So this is the other so, slide out, right? Yeah, so this this whole section here is the other, the other slide out. And then, oh, look at the stairs going up. Those are some pretty steep stairs. Oh, goodness, okay. So I think that's a queen. It might be a full. This area appears a little smaller than I thought it would be. Is this a is this a full or is this a queen up here? This bed. You know, I'm not sure. I want to say it's a queen. It it looks a it looks a little skinny to be a queen. I think it might be a full. Hang on, I'm going to take my shoes off and get up there because I don't want to... I know the one in the other trailer is a... <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, hang on. If I lay down right here and I... Yeah, this is a full. This isn't... Or like a double. It's not quite a queen. So, but it does look... No, there isn't room. We might have to get a mattress like trimmed specifically for this area is this shelf for a tv is that what that was up here okay got it and then these lights control all see like those are the, the mood lights oh gotcha okay okay that's up here oh cool that's nice and then this one. i like that there's like some sort of a headboard so i can like have somewhere to put my glasses and my cell phone yeah. and stuff like that that's good that's and good and this okay. shelf is handy for stuff like that oh yeah yeah that's awesome. Okay. There. Let me get down. I forgot to check out the bathroom. Let me see if I can fit in this shower here. Me and my bare feet. Okay. So this is, I mean, I could make it work. It's pretty small, but I mean, it's a horse trailer. So yeah, but at least the bathroom's separate, which I like. And I think my husband would like to. So, and then we've got some more storage there. So I feel like it's laid out. I feel like it's laid out pretty well. Um, but we've got some, definitely some aging on, you know, toilets and it's a little dusty and needs a good cleaning. Needs a good deep clean. Yeah. So is there a hay elevator to get hay up there? Cause I don't, I don't lift, I don't lift hay up that high. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see this tack room over here. So it, it does have a side tack. Uh-oh. Maybe that's why. Oh, there we go. Okay. So it's really big. I mean, I guess you're not too far to slide a, a saddle in. Blankets, yeah. Yeah, lots of really good hooks. Yeah, that's a good size. That's a good size one. And I do really like that it opens on the side. I really had hoped for like a mid tack so that the tack room's like up front up there somewhere. Um, and so that when you open up the back of the trailer, it's like just wide open. What do you, what you find? Oh, this is under the mangers inside. That's the generator. 
All right. Big windows for these horses, my goodness. That could That could fit a horse out of there, for goodness gracious. Yeah. I know that Yeah. Well, I can't I can't drive my my other trailer I can't drive anymore and it's it's totaled anyway, so that would definitely that's a pretty good storage area. Grain and things like that. Water buckets. That's good. Okay. Shut. There we go. All right, let's go check out the horsey area. So we've got a ladder going up top and I don't exactly climb with one hand, so I'll have to turn off the camera first when I go up there. So I do, even though this half is taken up by the tack room, I do feel like this is a wide enough door to get the horses in. And, you know, normally I would have the entire back of the trailer wide open for, but this isn't going to be the equine ambulance. Oh, this is tiny. Oh my goodness. And it is tiny. Yeah, this is like quarter horses. I mean, even though it's got the warm blood height, uh -huh. like I haul horses that are longer than this. Oh. So if I were to shut a horse in one stall, mm -hmm. like from, from head to tail, you know what I mean? I do like the hydraulic jacks because my mm -hmm. kids are constantly like hand cranking my trailer. Yeah. 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 So, no, I think I'm going to pass on this. I think there's just a combination of too many things that are are not going to fit either horse or human or whatever. Yeah, I do, I absolutely love the dual slides and the kitchen mm -hmm. is stunning. Mm -hmm. Like there's so many parts I love about it. I just, I just need to be a little bit more patient about what I'm going to end up yeah, like awesome. getting. So, but yeah. thank you so much for your time thank and, you and out. showing us. Oh. I appreciate it. It's hot out there. It's a little warm. It's a little warm. Okay. Good. So without the owner being in earshot, the whole left side of the dining slide was busted off and glued back on and the floor was coming up and there was um, like pieces of the shower that were peeling away. The big problem, did you see how short that horse area was? Yeah. That was tiny. I mean, even with mangers, that was tiny. Mm -hmm. So, um, oh, and look, they have a third, they, they weren't kidding, they have a third horse trailer over there. That's too funny. So. Even though it was beautiful on paper, it wasn't all it's cracked up to be. I really don't think she's gonna sell it for the 53,000 asking price. I hope she does, but I think she's gonna have to lower that price. So we'll just keep looking, but it was an adventure. Yeah. Thanks for going on the adventure with me, Tammy. Yeah, <laughs> Appreciate it. We're gonna have to go to Prescott next week. <laughs> so we're irrigating today and I'm not getting very good water flow in out of, out of any of my pipes. I've been going for a half an hour and there's really not very much water here. So I'm getting a little bit worried about how that's going. Okay, so I had to call the irrigation company to see if they could double check the ports. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> You're good. Hi. What, do you, do you like the camera? Say hi. Hello to the camera. <laughs> Look at this cute little face. He's got such a cute little nose. You're my handsome boy. Yes, you are my handsome boy. <laughs> you're so cute <laughs> anyway so the irrigation is not going as quickly as it should be especially with the three ports open um so let me show you so we have a port over here in this corner we have a port over there in that corner and then we have one behind the round pen and by this point in the irrigation my water should be like over here somewhere and it's not and i haven't even started irrigating this pasture so that's very odd that it's going so slow. So I'm having the Zanjaro run down and double. What are you doing? Are you eating my hair? I'm having the Zanjaro run down and double check the water um, source to make sure everything's good that way and that the head gate is, is the right distance. So what are you doing, Nug Nug? My little Nug Nug bug. I love this horse. He's so funny. What? You giving me kisses? Huh? Don't chew my shirt. That's rude. You can't chew my shirt because that's rude. Don't make me tell your mommy on you. <laughs> well, is she prego? I don't know yet. Is she, is she, is she? Oh my gosh, she is such a messy mare. But shouldn't you be seeing something in the middle? No, not right now. 
Because she's only 17 days. And that, I think, is just a cyst. You can see how, like... It's odd-shaped? Odd right. Yeah. And this one's nice and straight, and it's got the poles. That's what you call them. Okay. From the top and bottom. It's nice and perfectly round. So if she's pregnant, you think it would be right there? Yeah. Okay. It's right in the bottom. So she is pregnant. Yeah. Congratulations! <laughs> Giovanni, it's a horse! Okay, just getting out of the sun. Oh my goodness, the wind is going crazy. So Lucy's pregnant, so that's good news. So um, she's gonna leave at the end of the month to go to Utah and all is good. <laughs>